Hey guys, hope you're well. This time I'm back with something else and we'll be trying different areas for 15 hours. Going as hybrid in this one, my build, gear and stats will be displayed for you in the background. You can check out the timer I've placed at the bottom of the screen where my stamina bar should normally be. The areas I mainly went for are the pit, ancient tunnels, arcane and chaos sanctuary, the frigid highlands for Eldritch and Shank, as well as the glacial trail. I just enjoy farming in the last one, a really cool looking place. With the help of my friends, a discord for our community was recently created. If you're interested in joining, there will be a link available within the description of this video. I'll be doing future giveaways there, but the main reason for it is for us to have a place to chat, organize runs together, trade and hang out. Make sure to check the outro out as well as the preview of the next video. There, I'll show you how I crafted my brand new Enigma, what is going to change in the next videos, as well as information about the upcoming giveaway. If you enjoy the content, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Also, sharing is caring, please consider doing so, it makes a huge difference. Thanks for bearing with me until now, it's time to jump straight to the highlights. Almost 25 minutes into the session, we find an unique Dusk Shroud. It rolls with max fire damage, but unfortunately, free to static field. A bit later, we loot a Lamb Rune from the Ghosts. A unique Scourge drops next. It is Horizon's Tornado. Inside the Drifter Cavern, we find our first unique ring. It's a 24mf Nado. A second one dropped later, this time it gave 26mf. Next, Word says gifts us Titan's Revenge. He can have them back though, they roll really low on enhanced damage. An interesting item drops in the ancient tunnels, a unique champion axe, it's Messer Schmidt's River. Then a rare helm for druids that gives you to elemental skills, decent resistances, as well as mana and HP. Hard to find a better one to use while leveling. An urn inside the ancient tunnels drops us thunderstrokes. We found two pairs, this one with low skills and nice enhanced damage. And another one with max skills and low damage. Oh well. Next noteworthy drop is Trangul's Helm, found within the Chaos Sanctuary. We also found the offhand in the armor during this session. I'm actually thinking about creating a Poison Nova Necro soon, so these might come handy. We found two lightsabers within this session, one from Mephisto and one within the Arcane Sanctuary. Now we loot our first unique amulet, it ends up being the Rising Sun. Next item on the list is Lacerator's Axe, unfortunately it didn't throw Ethereal. Followed by Steel Rents that throw with decent enhanced damage. A bit later we loot our first unique jewel, we got two in total, a low code one, and a fire one with low reduction and max damage. Next we get a rare axe, the Executioner's Justice. Then a nice skewer with 1 to poison and bone skills for necromancers. An almost insane rare amulet is dropped by the summoner, if only it gave you to combat skills.
Another good item drops in the pit, a unique wire fleece. It's the Gladiator's Bane. Next, a treat for every barbarian who wished they wrote a druid instead, the Wolf Howl. Now we get a decent base for the Enigma Rune Word. Last item for today is Reaper's Toe. It doesn't throw a Furio, but I've already got one that did. A list of all the items we found will be displayed for you now. I have to say, I'm really disappointed. I couldn't find a single high rune after spending so much time. I guess it just wasn't meant to be. About the giveaway, please join the Discord, where you'll be able to find the list of available items within the giveaways channel. If you want any of them, send me a personal message on Discord with your button at tag, as well as a list of the items you'd like to participate for. The winners will be selected on Thursday, while the items shall be given away within two days, Thursday and Friday. 15 items in total will be given away. Some of them are Shaco, the Herald of Zacharum, Oculus, Emoto King's Armor and Tandario's Visage. There will be other ones as well, a few of them will be available more than once. I tried hard to find a jar rune by myself, but it just isn't dropping and I want to show you runs done with other characters as well, so I ended up getting one through trading. I already had a burn rune from the pit and the decent base I found in this video. Time to assemble it. This is the item I've been looking to get since I started playing, as you know it opens doors to all sorts of possibilities. I already have a couple in mind that I can't wait to try. Ideally, I would have wanted to gather everything by myself, but farming with only one class is not ideal neither for me nor for you guys, as I imagine you'd find some variety much more entertaining. I am pleased to introduce to you my elemental druid. In the next video, I'll be running the Chaos Sanctuary and the River of Flame with him. It will be between 100 and 200 runs, I'll be looking to release it by Friday, but my schedule is a bit rough within the next days, so I can't tell you how many runs exactly I'm going to manage to do right now. 100 at the very least though. As always, thank you for staying until the end. A lot of new and exciting content to come. See you in the next one.